A breakthrough could be on the horizon in the post-Brexit trade talks as negotiators prepare for the next round of crunch discussions, sources have revealed. Michel Barnier and David Frost's relationship has appeared to sour over recent days, but there is cause for optimism behind the scenes. Sources have privately played down the very public bust-up between the two men, which has seen allegations of foul play exchanged across the channel. Negotiations on a joint fisheries agreement are said to have ended in acrimony as Brussels demands continued access to Britain's fishing waters. Despite the European Union's hardline position, talks have actually moved on toward finding a «landing zone» that satisfies both parties. After the recent round of trade talks, a senior EU official said, prior to this session, the two positions were far apart, maximalist if you like. This round has allowed us to get an inkling of what an agreement might look like. The source added that talks had been «slightly more optimistic» than public announcements that had followed. Previous rounds had ended with accusations that negotiators had «talked over» one another. But this time, the two sides discussed more detailed plans of how to divide shared fish stocks. While only an early sign of progress, it was enough for Mr. Barnier, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, to discuss. The Frenchman said, we are now going to be starting a discussion on more specific parameters which could well be productive and constructive. And I think that spirit, really there, that is this will to move in a constructive way, look at the quotas species by species and look at all of these parameters, not just those which are important to the UK and their fondness for zonal attachment. Britain has called for a fisheries pact built on the concept of zonal attachment that will see quotas allocated on the basis of actual fish stocks rather than historical data. Under the plan, the UK and EU will hold annual negotiations to decide how the stocks are divided up. Downing Street has claimed the bloc's demands amount to a continuation of the much-criticized common fisheries policy.